Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. It is roasting here today. I've got another video from New Manor Farm Shop uh, of how they do their chicken cushions. I thought this was really interesting, worthwhile sticking up on the channel for you guys. Either try it yourself or head down to the farm shop and give theirs a go. Um, let's get to it. Other part of the video is see me bone it out into, into your chicken skillet. Let me show you how we actually make a chicken cushion. So I've boned out a chicken. I've pulled off one, one leg. This is our gin and tonic sausage we can here. So what I've done, I've pulled up a, a decent sized ball to basically replace the same weight as the cavity. Pop that in the middle. You've got your little thigh meat on the top. That will then fold up with the other one. Give them a little bit of a loving care. So now you've got your, all your breast meat on top, all your thigh meat on the bottom, and a nice ball of sausage meat in the middle. Then with your butcher's twine, you can see that the butcher's knot. Start one holding the string around the outside. And then we go one over the top. Not too tight, because what you don't want to do, you want to push it too bad out of shape. Tie that one off. Turn them round. Do another one. And another one. And I'll so come Christmas, being able to tie a little bit quicker, obviously you can imagine it comes in handy with all the beef that we got to tie at Christmas time. Mm. But just over the top again, you see it start coming to shape now. And you've got your chicken cushion. And a lot of people go, oh, do I cook it any differently? You just treat that as you would a normal whole, whole chicken. Finish it off with a little bit of French, what we call French fancy, season on the top. Put the meat probe in that, off you go. Completely bone and roll chicken with sausage meat inside. We can do any, any flavor inside. We can add some sausage, uh, some stuffing with the sausage meat. And that is one of our chicken cushions. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, uh, I find these really interesting to see what butchers can actually do with with meat and how they can package it ready for us. So again, if you've got any ideas, let me know. I'll ask them to do it and uh, I'll see you soon. Please like and subscribe to the channel as well, please. And uh, ring that notification bell for new videos.